Hi, uh, this video is about how to connect the RPilot Pro app with your boat. And I had quite a few questions from, from users who struggle a little. And the key is rather simple. Uh, there's one key parameter you need to get right. If not, then the Pro app will not be able to connect. So today I'm not going into how to physically connect your boat, uh, but we will look at a parameter that is the key. So let's just assume that you have uh, the boat set up. You have been using Mission Planner or perhaps Q Ground Control, and everything's fine. And then you struggle to connect the Car Pilot Pro. So for this purpose, we are going to assume that you did connect using the telemetry port one. And the telemetry port one, it has some key parameters. And we can have a look in the parameter list for that. And what's really, really important is to get the protocol right. The mission planner and Q ground control, they support Mavelink 2, they support Mavelink 1 but the CarPilot Pro does not. It only supports Mavelink 1. So you need to get that parameter right. And to check that, we can use Vision Planner, for instance. And in order to check for parameters, we go into the config screen. And wait a little. Right. So I'm going to use the full parameter tree here. And to get serial one stuff, I just start typing serial one. And there it is. So right now I have value one, which is good. Let's just say it's value two that was there. So then you need to change that to one. So it's Mavelink one. And when you change it, you click write parameters. And that's it. Uh, after changing this parameter, uh, the uh, autopilot needs to be rebooted. So let's just reboot it and come back. Okay, let's start the app and have a look on how to connect. So default settings is that we have uh, USB as default, and that the checkbox for auto connect is not selected. There are four ways that you can connect the boat. Touching the button here, we get to select between UDP, TCP, USB, and Bluetooth. So all of these connection options have some settings. And in order to look at the settings, there is the slow way, that's to start using the menu, go into app settings, and then into connection. Let me go back. Um, the shortcut is to long press on the auto button here. So I'm gonna do that now. And that also brings us into the settings. So depending on how you have set up the telemetry connection for your boat, you need to make sure to select here. So those are the four settings. And any connection options is then available below. So for USB, it's the telemetry speed. You can change it here. But 57, 600 is typically good. For Bluetooth, then the app will remember your device. And if, you have, if it has been successfully connected sometime, the device name will be here. And if you need to get rid of that because you're connected to, let's say, your headset instead of your boat, then you click forget the default device and it will write that out and you can try again. So for UDP, 
and TCP, there are some additional settings. Let's take UDP first. So typically, you only need to specify the port. And you can do that by just clicking in and changing it. I'm going to cancel it now. And 14550 is the standard for our pilot. So it's typically it's good. But if your boat does not broadcast the, the uh, UDP, then you need to tickle it a little. And to do that, we use a ping. So let's just select that. And if you need to use a ping, then some additional uh, settings comes up. But then you need to get the IP address right. And you need to get the port right. And I think port 14550 is also good for that. But usually, you don't need that. You can only get the port right, and it should connect without any issues. And finally, let's go for TCP. Well, for TCP, that's uh, one connection only. And then you need to get the server IP right, which is typically the gateway in your tablet. So when you're connected to the Wi-Fi, of your boat, then the gateway address, it's what you need to put in here. And then the server port, that really depends on, on the unit that you have used. Typically, it's all usually written on the backside. It could be many things. For my purposes now, it's 5762. Now, when you have gotten the connection good, then you can select the auto connect choice here, but you can always do a test first using the auction and do connect. 